Hello folks. My name is Alex. I want to show you some Photoshop tricks. We are going to turn a still photo image like this. Into animated GIF image like this. Note how the front panel of the bulkhead is featuring now a moving string of characters. Let's fire up the Photoshop CS6. Now open our source image. Then we need to convert the background into a layer. To do so, just double click on the background in the layers panel. Enter some meaningful name, for example main and click OK button. Then we need to cut out an area in the main layer where we want our text to appear. Zoom and reposition the image for the better view. Select Polygonal Lasso Tool. Click on each of the four corners of the front panel. Make sure the selection is closed. Add some feather to the selection. Now just simply hit the delete key to remove the selected area in the main layer. Next we will need an image showing our text. Make sure that the image have enough side margins. They have to be approximately equal to the widths of the text. Select the entire image and copy it to the clipboard. Switch to the main image and paste the selected text as a new layer. Select the free transform tool. The entire text layer can be moved around by dragging the mouse. We will also need to scale the layer horizontally and vertically to fit the bulkhouse front panel and show the perspective. Finally, we will need to add some skew to the layer to turn the rectangle into a parallelogram so it fits the boundary of the front panel. Let's position the text layer next to the panel to estimate the amount of vertical scale. Scaling down by 3 quarters or 75% should be enough. Enter 75 in the H box of the toolbar. Now the height of the text layer matches the height of the front panel with some overlap which is OK. Let's move the text layer so that the characters become visible. To show the perspective we need to change the aspect ratio of the characters. They have to be narrower. The amount of 40, 50% should be just fine. Now the text looks much more natural. The final parameter is the amount of skew. Since the text should skew in counterclockwise direction, the value should be negative. The exact value should be found using try and error method. In this example, minus 21.27 degrees works just fine. Before applying the transformation we need to reposition the text layer once more so that the first character is hidden behind the right boundary of the front panel. Finally click apply button on the toolbar. After we transformed the text layer to match the size and perspective of the scene, drag the text layer underneath the main layer. Everything is ready now to animate our text layer. Enable timeline panel in the window menu. Click Create Video Timeline button. You can pan and zoom your timeline using the scroll bar and zoom slider at the bottom of the panel. Define the duration of the animation by dragging the right edge of the rectangles that represent the visible layers in the timeline. 10 seconds should be fine.
Make sure that both main and text layers have the same duration. Click the little black triangle next to the text layer's name. We are interested in the keyframes track for the layer's position. Move the time pointer to its leftmost position and click the stopwatch icon. A new keyframe will be created in the layer's timeline. Now move the time pointer to its rightmost position and click the diamond icon. This will create the second keyframe at the end of the timeline. Make sure that the time pointer is still at the second keyframe and rearrange your working area so that the front panel is clearly visible. Make sure that the text layer is currently selected and choose the Move tool in the Photoshop toolbar. Now move the text layer from right to left until the very last character disappears behind the left boundary of the front panel. Make sure that the text layer is still properly aligned vertically. This completes our animation. We can test it by sliding the time pointer in the timeline back and forth. Alternatively, we can click play button in the panel's toolbar. Don't worry about little vertical jittering of the text. It will disappear in the final rendering. The animated image can be either exported to a movie using any supported video codecs, or saved as an animated GIF image. We are going to save it as an animated GIF. To do so select the Save for Web option in the File menu. Be patient, it will take some time for Photoshop to analyze your animated image. Once Photoshop is ready to accept your input, Make sure we are using adoptive mode, 256 colors at 100% either, and set the desired image size. To review the animation click the play button. Note, that the vertical jitter of the animated text is gone. If you are satisfied with the results, stop the playback and click save button. Navigate to the desired location. Enter file name and click save button. Now we can exit Photoshop and verify the resulting file. The animation works as expected. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've learned something new. Please subscribe to my video tutorials channel.